And now I would like to offer you uh, a free guided meditation, my inner house guided meditation that will help you to make yourself aware of your boundaries and understand yourself better. And it will also help you to see how do you how you represent yourself in the world and how you see others and before we do the meditation i would like to give you a short overview of what we will be doing so first i will ask you to close your eyes and relax and that will guide you through the relaxation process and then i will ask you uh, to imagine a house and we will not go inside the house. This is very important. In this specific exercise, we will not go inside the house. This is another exercise. Uh, during uh, this meditation, we will focus only on the outside of the house and its surroundings. And if you see yourself inside the house, no worries. I will ask you to go outside. And then I will ask you uh, questions like how big is the house, how tall is this house, what materials is, uh, is it made of, can you see the roof, etc. And at the end of the meditation, when you will get back to your room, I will help you to decode the image that you saw. Okay. Uh, let's start. Please turn off your cell phones. Let me do the same. Make sure oh, my, mine is off. Okay, turn off your cell phone and make sure that nobody will disturb you for 10-15 minutes. Find a comfortable position and just listen to my voice and follow my voice. Close your eyes and allow your body to relax. Take a deep breath in and breath out and another deep breath in and out and the third breath in and out allow your body to relax and let your subconscious mind guide you as you go deeper and deeper into the relaxation any external noise and sounds will only help you to connect with your inner world and imagine images allow your body to relax more and more deeper and deeper relax your shoulders elbows wrists and every finger on your hands at some point allow your chest to relax your breathing might get in deeper and slower relax your abdominal muscles allow the wave of relaxation travel down to your belly relax your legs your knees relax your ankles and relax your feet at some point start relaxing your back muscles you relax your lower back your middle back relax your upper back allow the muscles along your spine to relax a pleasant wave of relaxation flows across your back muscles. Relax your neck, the back of your head, your temples. Relax your forehead, eyebrows, cheeks. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes. Staying with eyes closed, you can hear my voice and imagine images and now imagine a house it can be an image that you've seen in a real life or some imaginary image anything that you see is good and important do not rush 
Take your time. If you see yourself inside the house, just go outside. Please notice how big is this house? How tall is this house? What materials is it made of? Can you see the roof? What color is it? What shape is it? Flat, pointed, or any other shape? What is it made of? Does this house have windows and balconies? If yes, how many do you see? And how big are they? Do you see any blinds or curtains? What does the front door look like? What size and color is it? Do you have a key for this house or not? What does the foundation of the house look like? Does this house have a front yard? How does it look? What do you see around the house? Is there any fence? Is it tall? Is it solid? Look carefully and try to notice all the details. Can you walk around the house to inspect it from each side? And if yes, then take your time and now go walk around it. Some sides of the house or the backyard might be closed. Just notice what you see. What is the place like where the house is located. Do you see any neighbor's houses? How far they are from you? What is your general impression of this house? Do you like it or not? Try to remember all the details and now find a comfortable place in this image to complete your meditation. Take a breath in 
and then leave the image to return to your real life location. Open your eyes, look around you, name three objects that you see in your room, for example, a table, a window, computer, and write down in comment section below the video what you saw and how do you feel now. I also recommend you take coloring pencils, markers, crayons and any coloring tools and draw what you saw during the meditation. And now I will help you to decode some of the most important elements of this meditation. You can uh, keep drawing and just listen to my explanations of this meditation and see uh, what, what, what is related to your image. So the fence. The fence is the symbol of your personal boundaries. How high it is, how thick it is, how transparent it is, where you able are we able to see what's happening in the outside world of the fence or the fence was blocking your view if you did not have a fence it means that you allow people to use you you do not protect yourself at all you do not have any boundaries in your life and anybody can enter your house or basically anybody can use you for their own purpose the front yard the front yard is uh, how you represent yourself in this world. For example, people with a perfect front yard have a perfect Facebook page or have a perfect Instagram page. Uh, your account on social media is the presentation of your life. Same as your front yard, how people see you, how you present yourself. The house itself, the shape, the color, the roof, all those elements represent you, your mental health, your stress and anxiety level, and how you see yourself. This is the, pre the presentation of you. If you had a key to your house, it means that you know how to connect to yourself, you know how to connect to your inner desires and your true feelings. Windows and balconies. Windows and balconies represents how you communicate with the outside world, but mostly with people who are close to you. So the fence is communication with people who are, uh, who are your co-workers, people at work, uh, maybe not close friends, but uh, just your buddies. But windows and balconies mostly represent how you communicate with your family members, with your partner, with your close friends, with your children. And do you allow them to be part of your life or not? No windows, no balconies. It means that you do not allow them to be close to your heart. You do not let them to create a close, deep, meaningful connection with you. Uh, the area behind the house, the hidden territory, represents your secrets, your fears, your inner conflicts, and your psychological traumas, your childhood traumas. Something that you hide from other people, something that you are protecting, something that might be hidden from you. If you were not able to walk around your house and see the backyard, it means that there is something that you are trying to hide from yourself and from others. You are running from your own fears and something old, uh, something from your past and probably something from your childhood. Castles, huge houses, a symbol of magical thinking, psychological immaturity. And people who, who see castles and huge houses need to work on their sense of self-worth, on their self-confidence and self-acceptance neighbors neighbors are a symbol of your perception of other people uh, did you see any fence or sidewalk between your house and other houses how close are they to your house how close or far uh, you are from other people how 
how your boundaries are with other people, with neighbors, right? Please uh, write uh, your comments below this video about what you saw. And after the webinar, I will read your comments and help you to decode the image you saw. Uh, and if you're gonna watch this video later, of course, you can also write what you saw in comments and I will be happy to see uh, your, uh, your feedback and help you to decode your image. Okay, and uh, I would like to remind you that uh, you can join me for the drawing marathon. And it's going to be two drawing marathons. The first one, resentment and anger with mother. And the second one is resentment towards and anger with father. And all the problems are hidden in our childhood. And drawing marathon is a magical tool that will help you to release your old feelings so you don't have to uh, struggle and suffer anymore. And the first marathon starts this Monday, this upcoming Monday, and then it's gonna be for seven days. We're gonna have another seven days break, and then we're gonna do seven days uh, drawing marathon uh, resentment towards father. And remember, two days of the marathon are free. So check the links below this video for the details, discounts, and information how to join me. And, uh, I have a Facebook, I have Instagram, I will be happy to see you on my social media, social media please subscribe and you can also uh, ask your questions if you have private questions. I understand that some people don't feel comfortable to share their deep emotions, deep feelings on YouTube publicly, so you can send me a private question on my website, there is a form specifically for that, or you can send it to me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, I hope that you like this video. If you found it helpful, please click like, subscribe and share. When I see your comments, when I see your likes, it motivates me to create more educational videos for you. And the next webinar, free webinar, uh, which where we're going to talk more about anger and resentment towards parents will be, I believe, in two weeks or in three weeks. You can check the schedule on my website. All links are below. And thank you for watching this webinar. Again, my name is Elena Semenek, E-L-E-N-A. And this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. See you next time. Bye.